Hi Ange, it's been a while since I've made a video. I thought I would do one. Um, I'm a little on the sunburn side. I was up at youth conference for four days getting spiritually fed. It was awesome, um, but a little too much sun. But I now get to feed myself like physically, right, with good food. This is, um, we're gonna do sauerkraut today, and this is something I've been making for like two years at least. And it's super easy. It's a little messy, so when I do it, I just do like a big amount and um, but super easy easier than anything I've ever tried to can there's no cooking there's no like the lids you know they don't need to be washed any more than just in your dishwasher so anyway super easy and uh, first though I'd like to show this beautiful little picture here so Angie is update on her she's doing great um, I actually get to see her this week and the rest of my family and I'm so excited to spend some time with them we're having a family reunion so that will be awesome and uh, her birthday's on um, July 2nd, so um, I'm excited to celebrate that with her. She's gonna be 40, that's a big birthday, Ange. Um, so here's this cute picture. Seriously, how cute is that? I love it. I think actually she looks a little bit, um, my Maya looks a little bit by, like her aunt, Angie, in that picture. So what sauerkraut is? Sauerkraut is just fermented cabbage. And the great part about it is it makes its own probiotics while it's fermenting. And so it's one of the best ways to get probiotics in your diet. You've probably heard tons about probiotics. It's that good bacteria. There's so many things now with the pesticides, the chemicals, the fragrances, just so many things that get in us. And then, um, so we have all these toxins in there. We need more good bacteria. And then also, we, and you know, and not getting organic gets a lot of things in us. And then um, using like all these hand sanitizers and everything so stripped of like good bacteria, um, we just don't have enough anymore. So almost everyone I feel like needs to take probiotics every day. And if you can get it in your food, it's just one of the best sources if you do well with it. I mean, if you, if you take it and you're, you know, you don't do well, you're gassy or your digestion or something, you know, but really more than anything, it usually helps your body digest food. Like a lot of people have just a half a cup of this before they eat dinner or lunch, and it will help get those enzymes and probiotics in there and it'll help break down their food. So it's really great if you're having like meat at dinner to have a little bit of um, sauerkraut with it. And my kids like it. That's another reason why I make it. They can eat this. I packed it in their lunches all the time. Um, and they'll, they eat it, they love it, they all eat it. It's a little bit sour, it's a little bit tart. It's different than the sauerkraut that you can just buy at the store. And this is raw, so there's a lot more probiotics in it. Um, I know you can buy some still raw sauerkraut already done if you don't wanna make it, but it's an easy way for to get some great nutrients into your kids. And there's a lot of vitamin C in cabbage. Um, it's just super easy, and you can use, I've used red cabbage or um, green cabbage. So I usually just get whatever, when it comes on sale, I buy a lot of it and I just do all of it in a, you know, one batch. This is just two heads of cabbage. It makes enough for this big bowl. And I either use my food processor or the good old salad chuda. That still works really great. So um, if you have one of those, otherwise you can just cut it up, but it's just easy if you're making a lot of it. And you can just start with one head. The recipe I'll post, I'll just do it with one head. So I'm basically doubling it today. So what you do is I just shredded this um, cabbage all the way and then you pound it down and I just use a wooden spoon and I've already done this just a little bit before it started because I pound it for a good few minutes. What it does is it releases all these natural juices in the cabbage and it starts to kind of break down um, the cabbage so it's it gets a little softer and um, that's it is actually part of the process of doing this so you do want to do this part so really easy you just pound it down and um, you can use you know whatever to really pound it but you just kind of work that cabbage a little bit and you'll see it'll start to release like these natural juices in it okay so then after that you just I just put water in my pitcher I use like good I have good filtered water but you use four cups of water so this is four cups and then I put in my salt and I either use a really good Himalayan salt or I have this salt also that's really good is Redmond sea salt. So I put that in and um, I put, um, I'm trying to think how much it was, I think it was two tablespoons I put in. 
me see if the actual recipe. Oh, so it's eight teaspoons is what I'm putting in because the rest the recipe is four, uh, four teaspoons. So this is eight teaspoons of the sea salt. And honestly, that's all you have to do. If you want to stop there, you're good. Otherwise, I like, I just, my family likes it. We kind of like pickles though. We like this flavoring. So I put dill and I put, um, I put a, a, a tablespoon or two. It's not, seriously, all this stuff can be, it doesn't have to be exact. It all turns out. So I put dill in, but there's other things you can do. You could do like mustard seeds, cumin seeds, um, red pe pepper even, oregano. I've seen recipes with those. So any of those you can do. So I just pour it out of my water, kind of mix it up with the salt. Even though it settles a little bit to the bottom, that's all you do. You just kind of mix it. And then when it's mixed, you pour it over your cabbage. And there's different recipes for sauerkraut. If you obviously you can YouTube and Google this, you know, and find all three different kinds of recipes for it. To me, this is the easiest way and it's the way I always do it because a lot of the recipes, um, you put your jars out and put a cheesecloth over and you watch it ferment. And not that that's really hard, but this is just like, the hardest part is just the cabbage cutting it up. That's it. So you put this on and you just, again, use your spoon and really like work the liquid into the cabbage and let it break down and make sure the dill and salt kind of gets mixed in with all the cabbage. Okay, so you do that. Now, I like to use um, wide mouth jars. One, because it's easier to stuff the cabbage in. That's mainly the reason. But you can use any size. You can use small if you want some portable ones that you could just take with you. Um, just for, I usually use whatever I've got around. So I've got one big one that's clean that I'm not using right now and a few small ones. And all you do, and you'll see the size of the cabbage kind of will get smaller because it is breaking down. So it doesn't it's not quite as much as when you started so it's a little messy but what you do is you, you just take your cabbage and you just put it fill up your jars okay I just use my hands but you know you just fill up your jars and you want to leave now once you kind of fill it up you want to really press it down and I use my spoon again for this that's another reason why the wide mouth jar is really good so then you want to press the cabbage down and pack it in there as tight as you can okay so I have a little bit of space. I could stop there. I'm going to put just a little more in. So I just basically am using less jars. But again, pack it in really good. And then you want to leave space at least a good inch at the top because what happens is it, is it ferments. It kind of bubbles and um, it will rise to the top a little bit. And so you always want to leave a little space. And then what I do is I take, so some of the leaves on the very outside that you take off that you don't use, you know, the ones when you buy, I just take a part of that and I kind of roll it up and I just um, fill up, you don't have to fill up the whole space, but I lay it right on the top. And what this does is it kind of holds the, the rest of the sauerkraut down and um, because it will rise a little bit with the liquid, it will boil up. And then when, when you open this jar up, um, you just take those out and throw them away, or I give them to my chickens. But you just, you don't have to worry about eating those. Sometimes those will, you'll kind of see, you know, they won't look very good. They won't look good on the top, but don't worry about those when you take them off. Everything else is great and ready to eat. So that's it. You don't have to do anything. You just put your lid on tight. You set it on. I set it on my counter. I usually just set it out of the way here for three or four days. That's it. And then you move it to cold storage and you're done. And this is, um, you can eat it right then, but it's actually, it softens over time. So in about six months, your cabbage is pretty soft, kind of more the texture of the ones that you buy at the store. So Adam, my kids like it too when it's been sitting a little bit. Um, they don't like it too tart, but all the different times you do it, it tastes just sometimes a little bit different. Just whatever fermenting process it goes through, this natural fermenting. You don't have to have new lids. You don't have to seal it. It doesn't have to be sealed like your traditional canning. You just basically put the lid on really tight, set it on your counter for three or four days, and then move it to cold storage. And then when you're ready to eat it, bring it out. And then once you open it, you keep it in your refrigerator and use that one. And we use this all the time. I use it with my um, meals, just a little bit on the side. I use it as a salad itself. I put sardines um, with sauerkraut. An avocado, a little mustard and lemon, mush it all together and I use it as a vegetable dip. And I have that for lunch all the time also. 
So anyway, super easy. You can do it. The red's pretty too. It kind of turns pink when you're in there if you use the red cabbage. So that's it. And I hope you um, get to try it sometime and anyone else that wants to do it, super easy. So, okay. See you soon. Bye.